I want to take the time out to say thank you for all the people that's out on the street protesting for the rights and for the lives of black folks. I want to thank you all from all around the world who see our struggles and know our struggles and want to stand by us and stand up for us. It's amazing to see how much people from around the world and different ethnic groups, different cultures, different shades of people who is out doing a great thing for us I never thought that I would ever see so much folks out on the street marching, black, white, Chinese, Hispanics, Asians, whatever you want to say it is. I am grateful and I'm thankful. I even have to thank our indigenous folks that are out there. I watch um, something on the news the other day and they were dancing. They came out to the protests and were dancing, beating the drums and dancing and I actually cried because they have been under pressure also. They've been put aside also and it's good to see them out there and we as black folks, it's not just Black Lives Matter, their lives matter also because they've basically been, their la take, lands taken away from them and they get put on reservation where they can't get off it and so much of them been killed, innocent, killed for nothing and I'm really thankful and so grateful to see them out there protesting with us. Thankful for different countries, England, Germany, India, all different countries, Iran, it doesn't matter what it is, it's like it, they see what's going on in this world and they want to see a change. And a change is coming. And we can't wait for that change to take place wherein it does not matter what color you are, what ethnicity you are, race, it doesn't matter. That we all can stand side by side as brothers and sisters and look at each other and say, you know, I love you. I love you. Nothing is wrong with that because we're all the same color. Same color blood. Thank you all. Much appreciated. And I love you all. And I know the folks who are there are marching with you of different cultures that are feeling oppressed are marching out there. They're thankful also. Because I've seen we're in yeah, the white folks basically go in front of black folks, stand in front of them because they know that if the black folks are in front, the police officers are going to basically act foolish and they actually stand and defend them. And I, I never thought in my life that I would ever see something like that where so much, so much, so many white folks defending us as black folks. I know our Hispanic brothers and sisters, they're there also to help defending and help pressing the charge for a change. And I hopefully there's a change coming for you guys too. We want to see all of these folks put away their guns and stand up for each other. Stop killing off each other and stand up for each other. Become my brother's keeper. You know, put away this gang 
put away the gang and see so you're gonna become your brother's keeper and make a change make a difference in society make a difference in this world that we don't have to look at and say okay fine how many black brothers and sisters got killed off or how many Hispanics got killed off over a weekend for turfs for drugs it's got to stop and now is the time that we should be looking at it and saying you know something I gotta become my brother's keeper Thank you for listening. And I hope this reach the folks that out there that's basically doing all these silly things, man. Because it there's no point. No point at all. If we cannot stop killing off each other, then us basically telling the police to stop killing us off, it's somewhat pointless. So let it start from home. Blood scripts, it doesn't matter what gang you you think you're in, stop, put it away, it's done and over with. Squash it. And so guess what? We're gonna basically stand up for each other and start defending each other. Are you your brother's keeper? Are you gonna stand up for your brother? Are you going to defend your brother? Hopefully your answer will be yes. And take that chance. Take that charge. Be a leader. Not a gang leader. Be a leader of society. Where you know that you're going to basically become your defender of your brothers and sisters. And your mothers and daughters and children, man. Come on. This got to stop. Please.